Time right now for a winter cast. I won't be asked any more of those questions again. In two minutes, you'll know what it's going to be like this winter. Here's your winter cast. Bitter cold with piles of snow or sunshine and light jackets. It's time to look ahead to the winter season. Our winter is driven by the waters of the Pacific Ocean where a weak El Nino is setting up, warming the waters near the equator just west of South America. Combine that with a positive phase of the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, sending warm water to the Northeast Pacific, which will likely split the jet stream just off the West Coast. The polar jet to the north and the subtropical jet to the south will combine to warm the air over the western U.S., while allowing frigid air from the Arctic to hammer the eastern U.S., our area looks to lean slightly cooler than normal. Above normal precipitation will soak the eastern third of the U.S. and in areas of the extreme southwest, while the ridge in the polar jet to our west blocks incoming systems, allowing only weak precipitation events to sneak through, meaning the northwest will be drier than normal, which will influence our area with slightly drier conditions over the winter. The combination of temperatures and precipitation will determine our snow expectations this season, which calls for heavy snow over the northeast, while most of the west can expect below normal snow totals. We can expect a slightly lighter snow season, but I'm fully expecting more snow than we've seen over the past two years. Here's your breakdown. Both temperatures and snow will be slightly below normal, so expect a drier than normal winter, but it will be slightly colder as well. I'm ready to walk out on a skinny limb here with exact numbers. Temperatures will average up to 2 degrees below normal each day this winter with several cold snaps that will deliver frigid air into our area. Snow events will be spread out over the season with close to nine separate events of one inch or more. Most of our snow will be in the one to two inch range this season. By the end of winter, we should expect a grand total of 13 to 19 inches of snow, which is about two to six inches below what our area can expect in a normal winter. I was hoping we had two of the nine of events the... already over with. No, no, no. It doesn't work no. that way, Carolyn. <laughs> yeah, basically what we just saw over the past week were two cold front snows. And I think we'll end up with more cold front snows. The big ones come from those big low pressure systems that dump those heavy amounts. I don't think we see any of those this season. Maybe one or two, which could blow that forecast. But I think we will see up to nine different cold front snows of one to two inches throughout the year. And uh, that's basically the way I see the winter. It's also going to be kind of a winter with extremes when it comes to temperatures. Now we're going to notice a nice warm up by the end of this week, but then a shot of cold air coming in over the weekend and we'll see many more events just like that throughout this winter time where we get those little surges of that Arctic air that's really going to hammer us from time to time. When you average it all out, I think it's going to be a slightly colder than normal winter. But we're going to kind of ping pong along yeah, the way. Right. There will be pleasant days, but there are going to be a lot of really cold ones too. Cooler. Yeah. And drier. Cooler, cooler and a little bit drier. A little bit yeah. drier. All right. Thanks, Gary. Okay.